Hey yo, what's up ladies and gentlemen? It's your scientist and it feels so good to be back guys. I know it's been a little while since we did a science experiment, but I had to bring It's Your Scientist back for a special video because today we are gonna be doing five insane Coke science experiments for you. If you're excited to see Itsy Scientist again, be sure to smash that thumbs up button. Don't forget, we still have the fidget spinner giveaway going on right now, so if you want a chance to win 100 fidget spinners, be sure to check out the link down below in the description. I also have to give a huge shout out to Quid for sponsoring this video. I'll tell you guys a little bit more about that right now. Hey yo, what's up ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy is back. A big thank you to It's Your Scientist for passing it off to me, but now I want to tell you guys about this amazing app, Quid. Basically, if you enjoy Pokemon cards, uh, you know, as much as I do, or you enjoy any type of trading cards, this is an app that you're definitely going to enjoy. It's a new app and it's made for Android and iOS. That essentially allows you to collect cards but on your phone. So you can collect cards, stickers, and toys from some of your favorite TV shows like Rick and Morty, Breaking Bad, and Family Guy. You can even take some of the stickers you've collected in the app, take them over to iMessage, and send them to your friends. Now they've also let me know that if I want, they can put some It's Ya Boy stickers into the app. So if that's something you guys want to see and you want to collect It's Ya Boy stickers, I need you to let me know down in the comment section below. Now you can also trade with your friends on the app, so if you're having trouble getting some of the super rare cards or toys, don't worry, you can trade with other people, you can message them, and you can do the same with me. So, be sure to add me on the Quid app, it's your boy YT, I'll put it right here for you guys. Make sure you add me as a friend and send me a message because I'm going to be DMing a bunch of you guys. In order to get coins, all you got to do is wait about 3 hours and they'll reload your account with about 4,000 coins. So on the app, you can get free coins free cards and you can chat with me so be sure to download it I'll be leaving a link to download the app at the very top of the description so be sure to check it out and add me as a friend and let's get into the video all right for our first experiment we are gonna be mixing milk with coke letting it sit for a little bit and see what happens okay so this is what we've got right now all we have to do is put it to the side for about 15 minutes and we'll take a look and see what happens. But in the meantime, we're gonna do another mixture. For the next experiment, we're gonna be doing the same thing we did with the first experiment, but we are also gonna be adding Red Bull to the concoction. Now for this one, we're gonna use an Erlenmeyer flash so that we can get a really good look at exactly what's happening. So first things first, let's put some Coke in. Okay, so we've got about uh, 550 milliliters of Coke in there. Now we're gonna add some milk. Okay, so we've added our milk, and last but not least, let's put some Red Bull in here. As with the last experiment, we're gonna put this to the side and see what happens after a few minutes. All right, so we're gonna wait for our first two experiments to finish, and we're gonna get started on experiment number three, which is going to happen a little more quickly than the last two experiments. So first, you just need a Coke bottle, pop this open. Next up, you're just gonna take some salt and add that into your Coke and watch what happens, guys. Oh my, oh my god. Oh Jesus. Tell me that's not dope. That's lit. Oh my god. Yo, I actually, and yo, perfect, it's so size. Sweet, perfect. perfect Sean, how much <laughs> Sean, how much would someone have to pay you to take a sip of this salty coke right here? Oh. All these flavors in this Look one at coke. All the salt at the bottom. Just, here. I know it's disgusting. Yeah. Wait, wait, let me focus in on that salt. You know what? You don't have to pay me. No, no. I do it for the no, 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 no. Are you ready? No! No, oh my. Ah! Ah! <laughs> oh. oh my god, bro. You're gross, bro. I was just, I thought all the salt was at the bottom. How did it get in the drink? How did it get in there? <laughs> all right, now we're also going to try the salt experiment with Diet Coke because as you guys know, sometimes whether you're using regular Coke or Diet Coke affects the way that the chemicals react together. So we're grabbing the salt again. We've got our Diet Coke. Let's see what happens this time. Oh, oh my god. Oh, it's even crazier. Oh, it's even more. It's even crazier. Oh, does it fit in the pot? Fits in the pot, clean. Okay, same exact reaction. It might have actually been a little bit more, but that might have been because I got more salt into the bottle beforehand. Okay, are you ready for what's probably going to be the most messy of all these experiments? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Too bad. <laughs> so again, we've got a Coke bottle, but this time, we're gonna be adding chlorine to it. So I'm, I'm not even gonna explain this to you guys. I'm just gonna show you what happens. Let's pop this open. Two hours later. And we'll pop this open. 
All right, guys, I need your help on this one. Hopefully this makes a bit of a mess, but not too much of a mess. Smash that like button right now. Oh my God. Smash that like button right now for another amazing Coke experiment. Here we go. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, wow. It's growing. It's growing. That's mud. It got aged. <laughs> it's actually aged. <laughs> got no, aged. no, no, the Coke is aged. No, 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 no. I think you need... <laughs> oh my god, it smells terrible. No, 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 no. You smell that? It smells like a bullet. It smells like a nightmare. Bro, I got it in my nostril. No, no. All right, we're going to do this one more time, but we're going to use the Erlenmeyer flask instead of the Coke bottle just because it has more space for me to pour more of the chlorine into it. So I think we'll get a better reaction. But first, we have to take a look at our first two experiments and see how those have reacted. All right, so first, we're going to take a look at our Coke bottle, which has just the milk and the Coke mixed into it. Ew. Rip this off so we can get a good look at it. What is that? All right, guys. So as you can see here, this is our finished I can't even get this out yet, but come take a closer look. What is David doing? Do you want what's in your mouth? Doesn't fit. <laughs> when your drill doesn't work. <laughs> okay, so as you can see the milk is like curdled and there's like this hard brown material on top of it. I'm gonna see if I can pour some of this out. Ew! Oh, oh Dave! All right, take a look at this, guys. It literally looks like wet dookie. Don't tell me that's... Oh my god, David. <laughs> so that's disgusting, but that was just two liquids mixed together. So now let's take a look at our other concoction, which we used to add Red Bull in. Oh my god. What the... Ew. You can see the Red Bull on the bottom, kind of, but I can't even make out what's what. Look at that. Get real close on this. There's all these bubbles up here. It's like this... Mucusy looking fluid in here. Look at the top. This is disgusting. Oh! Ew. Ew, ew, ew. Ew! It's a goggle time. So, what you guys see here is the combination of Red Bull, Coke, and milk. What happens is the Coke reacts with the milk first, creating a mucusy texture, and then the Red Bull comes in and separates everything, sending all of that mucusy texture to the top, where it can be hardened by the air, which is coming in through the top of the Erlenmeyer flask. And that's where we get this thing right here. Mm -hmm. This is called Cocos Mucus. It's named by a scientist called Albert Einstein. He actually discovered it when he did this experiment in 1923. Do not eat this stuff. It is very, very poisonous. It's, you're not even supposed to be touching it really but I'm a registered scientist so it's okay I also have a million subscribers so sometimes you can get your friends to do really gross shit you want to eat this Mongo? No, no, no. it always works when Charlie does it <laughs> yo Ryan 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 you want a shout out <laughs> you what up? Yeah, that works. Come here for a second I'm not eating that I just the come, here. Just come here for a second what up it's your Yo, you want to eat this for a shout out? It's Coke, Red Bull, and milk. I mean, look it. No. I, it, Charlie always does this. He like says he's got a lot of subscribers, so he'll give you a shout out and people do it. Oh he's actually going to do it. Ew. Does it actually work? Does it work? This is for the two fam. Oh, he actually did it! Charlie, it worked! Is it good? Was, is it like chlorine or what? What is it? Ugh. What is that? Where did he get chlorine from? <laughs> what is it? Yo, it feels like what? <laughs> Shout out to my boy Ryan Swayze. Go check out his channel. Comment done. <laughs> <laughs> Comment disgusting. done and he'll follow you on Instagram. There might have been a little bit of chlorine in that. Was there? <laughs> there was, bro. There was. Was there? <laughs> I'm gonna die and shit, bro. What the hell? No, don't drink this. What? This is chlorine. In. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's what you drank. No, he didn't. Did he drink? No, he didn't drink that. He drank that he drank, one. No, he didn't. He drank the chlorine coke. You drank the chlorine coke? <laughs> no, 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 no. No, 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 no. I'm gonna die, bro. <laughs> that was gross. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ryan. It's all good. Top of the description. Top of the description. Go check out my boy Ryan Sways. Actually, you're gonna be after the giveaway and after Quinn. So third in the description. That's not whoa, bad. Whoa. Who's right. filming for you, Sean? Oh, and Bongo's filming. <laughs> so now that we've had a good look at this experiment, we've really examined all of it visually, and then we had Ryan examine it um, uh, orally. 
Now we know it's uh, disgusting. Definitely do not try this at home. But now we can empty out the Erlenmeyer flask and redo the Coke and chlorine experiment and see what happens. All right, so first things first, we gotta add our Coke into our Erlenmeyer flask. We want minimal fizz built up on this, so you gotta use this pouring technique. We're gonna set that in our pan. Hopefully we can contain the mess again. Time for our chlorine, guys. Smash that like button. Pour as much as you can. Are you ready? I'm ready. Oh my God. Here. Oh my God. More? Oh, wait, what? What's going on? Huh? What's happening? Ladies and gentlemen, goggles on! Oh my, goggles on! no, 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 no. Was that it? Oh, okay. Oh, 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 whoa, whoa, oh my God. <laughs> What the? Yo, something's burning. What the heck is burning? Wow, that's hot, bro. What the heck? Oh my god. Holy. Why is it burning? It's bubbling. What is this? What? What, what? is happening? Bro, that smell. Open the window. Open the window. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. 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 No! All right guys, this is definitely one you do not want to try at home. Uh, some type of chemical was definitely released. That is not healthy for inhaling. We're trying to clean this area up. Oh my God, the towel got bleached. That's mud. The towel is fully bleached. DIY tie-dye. Tie-dye tie -dye towel. The table! Oh, the table! Is it hot still? The table's still warm, bro. All right, guys, so as you can see, this thing did some damage. Look at the table right now. It pretty much bleached the table. It bleached the towel, which we threw outside, but that reaction was absolutely insane. So guys, please do not try this at home, but I'm, I'm gonna go outside and try this one more time because that was just too crazy. All right, guys, here we go. Smash that thumbs up button right now. We're risking our lives for you guys. Let's do this. Oh, another one. Oh, here, oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, shit. Oh my God, that's a close the door and get away from the gas. Guys, that is easily one of the craziest science experiments I have ever done. The reaction that comes from that is just, it's nuts. Literally, it's insane. The one where I've done the exploding foam science experiment where you mix uh, hydrogen peroxide and can't remember what it was, but a couple other things. That one's really cool too and it shoots out just like this one does, but this one is just like violent. Like it shoots everywhere. But fortunately, we did this one outside, which was definitely what we should have done for the first one. Let's go take a look now that everything's calmed down. All right guys, so as you can see the jar is pretty much empty. There's literally no liquid left in the jar The reaction is so crazy that it shoots all of it outside of the jar and onto the ground here and probably evaporates a lot of it too Which is what creates the gas that you see when the reaction occurs, but holy smokes that was crazy All right guys, so that experiment was absolutely insane I do have a few more coke experiments if you guys want to see those be sure to smash that thumbs up button but we can't top that one in this video, so I'm gonna end things off here. Huge shout out to my boy Bongo for helping me out, putting his life in danger. Here! Go check out his YouTube channel, youtube.com slash bongo biche. I'll leave a link down below in the description. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, be sure to download the Quid app and add me as a friend for a DM. Also, I am still giving away the 100 fidget spinner, so if you want a chance to win that, all you gotta do is subscribe to this channel, subscribe to my second channel, and check me out on all my social medias. Again, I'll leave a link to that in the description as well. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you next time. Toodles!